Welcome back to PJ Chain Design. Today we would like to talk about how to making this wire style bangle. Are you ready? Let's get started. We're going to start it at the front view for the bangle size. I'm going to click on the ellipse and snapping into the zero, roughly about 30 on the longest axis here. And 30 mean is half of it, so the total will be 60. And depends on how uh, wide you want to have on this bangle. The second thing we wanted to do is decide how wide this bangle is going to be. So I'm simply going to use the surface extruded curve, and we just need to have a surface. So I would like to have something a, a little bit wider, so something like this over here. Okay, now we have this bangle here, and I like to, as you can see, the seam is right there, so I actually want to move the seams up. Let's go ahead to um, the surface tool, then you have this one's called adjust closed surface seam, and we are going to move the seams snapping into the quadrant or the end point here. Okay, now we have the seam moving up. We can create a UV curve and then it will having a box right there. So this is where we are going to do the design. First of all, I would like to uh, snap in to the midpoint, to the midpoint here to know where it is exactly half. And I just need to design half of it, but I don't need to design a whole piece because that will be symmetrical. Now the second thing I wanted to do is I'm going to snap in into somewhere here holding my shift intersect to the other side and snapping into this midpoint there. So the next thing is we need to creating the curve there. So I'm going to have a, a tab over here as a reference and we are going to use the blend tool. And I'm going to blend from here to here. And let's click OK. And since this is going to be symmetrical, so I'm just going to mirror it to the other side. Okay, so let's go ahead to join those three here. And because it's over the box, so I want them to come back just a little bit. And maybe you, maybe you want to one d scale this one and just make them a little bit thinner somewhere there because we do not want, after piping this, we do not want this touching each other. Okay, all right, so now let's go ahead to mirror again to the other side like this. Okay, now we need to create a line in the middle. You can draw one by one, uh, or you can try this way, is we are going to snap in here to here, and I'm going to bring down something like that. And that will be my first curve. Now, if this curve is not what you like, and then you would like to kind of move them around, or fitting into the curve better, it's up to you what you like to change there and for this demonstration I'm going to stay with this one all right so that will be my first curve and I simply just want to mirror to the other side like this and then uh, basically I want this one and this one have the curve in the middle so I'm going to use the command twin curve and depends on how many do I want it. So I'm going to change to eight of them and kind of give me a preview. And that will evenly out the spacing between for eight of them. And then once you click OK, then you will get something like this. Okay, now take a look on if this is what you like. And if you do, we are going to trim the rest of it. So we don't need all the things is outside of this curve here and the same thing on the other side we don't need everybody oops and it's the same thing on the other side we can trim off those here so now we have this we want this to apply to this surface so let's take a look on the perspective and i'm going to having this making into the surface by using the command surface from planar curve and then so we are going to use flow along surface and we're going to flow all the curve that we have. Hit enter and I will pick up this corner and coming over here for this corner. 
All right, so now we have our curve over there. Now we don't actually need the surface anymore, so I'm just going to hide it, and I'm so gonna hide in this to show you what that is. All right, let's pick up all the curve beside the boulder, and we are simply just going to pipe it. I'm going to pipe it for the radius about one millimeter, and then you will see something like this. Okay, for the outside one, I actually is going to have a different radius. So uh, I'm going to use the pipe and the first one on the side, I'm actually going to do 1.2 millimeter. And then I'm gonna come in over here on the top and adding another handle right there. So that's snapping into the quadrant and here I wanted to do two millimeter. And coming back to the bottom right here, 1.5. And we're gonna come in back here, snapping into the quadrant, and that's two millimeter. And let's hit enter, then you are going to see, oh, by the way, that's an extra there. So you're going to see this is coming really uniform and uh, you might want to make sure the bottom is touching. If it is not touching, you might want to also want to change the thickness there. And that's how we get this wire construction. I have a lot more tip and trick on my membership program. If you're interested in about jewelry care design, you are more than welcome to join the membership. Hope to see you there. Thank you for watching. See you next.